Welcome to Saturday Morning Coffee Break. While OT security needs your attention, it's Saturday morning, you're sipping this perfect cup of coffee, such as I am, listening to the hum of the refrigerator or the faint buzz of your nearby HVAC unit. We take these systems for granted, expecting them to work silently in the background. But behind that hum lies a larger truth. Our lives and industries rely heavily on operational technology. And the security of these systems is becoming just as critical as your organization's IT network. OT encompasses the hardware and software that monitors and controls physical processes. Think power grids, water treatment facilities, manufacturing lines, oil pipelines, HVAC systems, and even medical devices. These systems run the modern world, but as they become increasingly connected to the IT network and the internet, they're also becoming a prime target for cybersecurity attacks. So Fleetus, why are OT security different? When someone hacks your email, it's inconvenient. But if someone's able to compromise a factory's control system or a hospital's medical equipment, it's potentially life-threatening. OT systems often run on outdated hardware and software that wasn't designed with security in mind. OT has limited downtime windows, making patching almost impossible. Additionally, critical control infrastructure where failure could disrupt cities or even the entire region. So unlike IT systems, where the primary concern is data confidentiality, OT's top priority is safety, reliability, and availability. A ransomware attack that halts production or manipulates equipment can have devastating consequences for both human lives and the economy as we know it. Real-world attacks wake us up. Consider Stuxnet, the malware that famously disrupted Iran's nuclear plants. Colonial Pipeline, where ransomware disrupted the fuel supply to the eastern U.S. Or recent attacks on water treatment plants. These incidents highlight how OT is no longer isolated. It's interconnected with IT, making the attack surface wider and more complex. Now imagine it's Monday morning and your plant managers can't start the production line because of a cyber attack. It's not just an IT problem, it's now an OT crisis that impacts operations, revenue, and your brand reputation. So, brewing strong OT security measures. So, how do you secure these critical systems, you may ask? Like your morning coffee, it takes the right blend. First, asset inventory and visibility. You can't protect what you don't know you have. Identify all OT devices, their firmware versions, and network connections. Next, use network segmentation. Separate your IT and OT networks with strict access controls. Use firewalls and monitoring to limit lateral movement. Next, patch and vulnerability management. Even if patching is difficult, develop a schedule and workarounds to reduce risk of these legacy systems. And like our IT environments, use continuous monitoring. Implement anomaly detection tools that look for unusual network traffic or unauthorized changes. Make sure you build in incident response plans for your OT. IT playbooks often don't account for OT-specific needs. Your response plan must consider safety and operational continuity. Next, vendor and supply chain risk management. Many OT attacks come through third parties or insecure remote access. Validate vendors and enforce strict access policies between them. Next is employee training. Engineers and plan operators need security awareness, not just your corporate IT teams. And another important topic, as you've heard many times, the human element and a culture shift. A key part of OT security is bridging the cultural gap between OT and IT teams. IT may speak the language of patches and firewalls, while OT may speak PCLs, SCADA, mainly availability and safety. Building trust is essential for cross-training. Over coffee, ask yourself, when was the last time your IT security team sat down with your OT engineers? If the answer is never or rarely, 
there's your first step. So let's look ahead. As industries continue to embrace Internet of Things, AI-driven automation, and smart factories, OT will only become more connected, thus more vulnerable. Governments are introducing regulations for critical infrastructure, such as NERC SIP and CISA guidelines, CISA, as well as cyber insurance providers are asking tougher questions about your OT security posture. Organizations that succeed will be those that treat their OT security not as an afterthought, but as a core business priority. So here's our call to action as we're sipping our coffee this morning. Do you have real-time views into your OT environment? Are your incident response plans OT ready? Have you bridged the IT OT divide with inside of your organization? OT systems keep the lights on, literally. Securing them is not good cybersecurity. It's about protecting people, the environment, and your company's future. So next Saturday morning, when you're enjoying the peaceful hum of your home appliances, remember, the same hum runs the backbone of the modern world. Let's make sure we secure it safely. So as always, stay safe and stay secure, everyone.